Okay, LPV all time again. It's time for the second of a two out combat error today. All balled up, written by Joanne Lewick and Christian Conco. <laughs> Go, first off, the king deed of Kepra going pretty for one. I can do you need to watch that. Sort of. They mentioned, right, graduating. Well, maybe that gets. Go, it is it, it got Kepra up a code. Go, so, I'm right in my description to Kepra the V. Well, annoying going on, but I did do the way when I started recording, so. Oh well. <clears throat> yeah, I might be coming something, but I don't know, I feel weird, but hopefully, big comment next week. Give me a second. Then we'll start talking about the upcoming. About the pog game, I had to go close the door. <laughs> okay, go. So in this couple, go. Twilight and a friend go on our little friendship retreat. And while they are gone, you know, darling, tricky, you know, they do stuff, you know, you know, they do they, they, they some stuff. But then at one point, he accidentally teleports away their, the table map thing, and they have to locate it in Starlight. And you know, deals get very angry with Tricky over why what she's doing, and she tries to literally bottle her anger magically, which of course ends very well. Go with a cup of code. Um, when you get into the plot, I'm kind of worried about it. The thing is, it's kind of annoying in the cup of code. Like, what's going when you... You know, it's like, you know... I mean, she does well quite a bit, and she does it for a long time, but she doesn't seem to care. She even can kind of jerk it as through things that I'm out of it, especially, you know, you slightly contrived to make her be and in order to get started angry, you know, about doing anything definitely enough to be angry at to begin with. Honestly, at some point, I'll count with it, right? But, <laughs> but, to be, depending how tricky I had to be, she definitely had to be tricky like in the art of code to be in, but I don't know what she wanted to think level. So, I'm kind of worried that could be a problem, but, then some stuff happened that kind of made me like the upper code. You know, if I still got the problem with it. But all, very, very definitely some good. They come a beauty moment. Like, at one point, she she is bottling, you know, again, I'll do some point because now I get, again, nothing crazy for me, but she bottling the anger at one point, the anger bottle, it breaks, and the anger will go into come out of and including book by cap, and they all manifest to start like anger at Tricky and attack her, and that was pretty funny. Especially with them gang, get the king stuff started with that. Like, at what point, Granny Smith go, don't stop bringing up my dark past. <laughs> and then, you know, like, I don't know, Granny Smith gang, that was funny. Like, apparently, book by cap got two jobs, including the final one. Invention in Capricorn, um, which I love. Um, <laughs> um, I love Bob Beck in general. I'll call up Spike. He's not in a whole lot, but he gets some good lines. Yeah. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> um, Spike really improved in the end, and he can continue. Hope he can continue featuring the thing. Can put up a row. I thought he had some great lines. So, yeah. Um. But I'll go with a plot with Twilight, where Treat is the whole thing where you are locked in a room and you have to use a bunch of puzzles to get her way out, which is, you know, and they're trying to beat repeat the record of people who are in their land, you know, but they do it in a fun way. I kind of shot the main plot, you know, walk in a room trying to figure out, but, you know, but I've been good at the plot too, though. It includes our first song of the game, which was a decent song, but it honestly is a throwaway song. And it's meant to be. Like, early on, they mentioned how all the you know, you'll get along, not even the product thing of song. That, and lo and behold, we just can't. <laughs> and, okay, I got to play with a joke. Um, <laughs> no, um, I, I'm sorry, but I need to play with a joke. It's too good. Um, uh, basically, they came to the song, but it turned out they missed breaking the record by two seconds, and it's like, you probably shouldn't have gone that song. That told me. Uh, that's the second time we done something like that. You know, there's no time for a song, but now here they get shot, breaking it. 
I love that. The comic calls for fun, but typical, but I think I'm posting the joke and comparing them, essentially. She can't refuse to be there to make it work. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I probably have to go. I think making go to the neck and just don't bother your anger, which I believe is a good one. You know, because it's like, yeah, I can't really be a jerk, but. They kind of put big and comporting call people out of, calling people out on their bullshit because they show that Tricky probably would have like, Bookie didn't realize what she was really doing if you, you know, you know, and then eventually started doing it and calling her out on it. Yeah. And again, if they can get good to call people out on their bullshit, which I comport, especially with Tricky. I feel like, I feel like the, they show like a Tristan would turn out better if she just told, or at least told Donald Twat, Tricky, eh, how she was feeling about, like, when maybe she even like, oh, ooh, yeah, instead of just kind of pretending like nothing happening, you know? Yeah, I think that's good. I do think one problem that doesn't come from that, I feel like Tricky will give them to me, like, given that drug is, yeah. Yeah, they're going I uh, regard however way we can kind of roll, but I feel like it is, it's not a big thing that try to work in the right to be mad. They can she totally had a right to, but she needs to express that instead of hiding it, which is good. Come show kind of big thing can never be mad like ever at anyone, but the Kong Kang, no, you have a right to be mad and express and don't keep her under wrap. You know, she's going to be called out. I think one problem that I do contrive tricking action to make her a little justified. And, uh, yeah, country gashing on you can I like the beginning where she, with the teacup pool, don't act. So, but, I do feel like I make up for it because World to World is a good one, and it's a beauty moment. So, overall, I'll call it good, but on the lower end of it, because freaking can be annoying, and I do feel that aspect to more of you might do too, but, Overall, I do feel like we're going to like, go try a tricky upcode, but I do feel like if you don't like them, you just kind of want to go you on them. But I feel like if you're already in two of them, we're going to draw a night bait. And this one's about her, with the friend getting a cup line, which I do debatable on whether they need. A cup line doesn't really add anything in terms of it's fun, doesn't add anything to the main plot. But that song is nicely just to poke with the main situation. Again, I love it. I love that, I love that line. But overall, I gave it good, mostly a good episode, primarily because I do like the moral. It's just me. I've had tons of anger and complaints, and I don't have had this problem, but it's just me. It's probably best to let something out. <laughs> yeah. So. Dang, I feel more angry and moral. Or episode, or what have you. Um. But yeah, that all you can uh, all I can think of. the premium cup code will kinda of ball up the code, but that should have been called all bottled up. But oh well. All bottled up that premium one will be the like for people buying and where fifth one I can keep actual problems people are having, but they just barely get good because I do like what I'm trying to do and I like you know, I think I'm gonna have to improve. But the first half I'm like uh, I'm not sure and to tricking a little annoying but if y'all like tricking you, I'll tell you on her. Can you even see anything I do if you like? Coming down. I feel like I'm gonna need to be touched up a bit to be a really good episode, but. Or to be, to be a pretty good, but then it's completely good. But. I do like it because I appreciate what it is doing. So. Yeah, that kit for all bottled up. I had a left thing out of here, but. It's kind of my more. Opinionated, opinionated time, but um. Go back, here you go. Go back, two up, go for track one. And for computer go. Alright. Yeah, I like them, but they're not like, ooh, I'm vegan, woohoo. I'm like, yeah, like dirt. You can control and camera, I'm more guided for vegan to come. But again, I don't know if that will leave the attention. But when you're shouting out from Kevin, we go up next week with, um, I believe it's called a flurry of emotion. Take a look. Look at the book. Um, there you go. Yep, a flurry of emotion. It's a baby cake, but Twilight and Blair. But it's kind of like, 
And that should be a fun episode. I've read all the plot commentary they released, and call them kind of interesting, call them no, but they're commissioning one here and there. So hopefully we can get to a guy interesting. Again, I have crunk about, you know, I don't want the show on too long, but it's a good time, I like it. So, but, um, but honestly, we're not going to really know until we end the season whether we're keeping it for the fall of the idea or not, or blah, blah, blah. You know, I thought we had the movie go. Garth with Captain Keegan, hopefully the movie will really good. I can't wait to see it. No, I shall see you guys next week, and I don't know if we're going to be on a VR. I don't know if we're going to need for depression to do for a while. Or anything of that nature. I just know we're going to be on for a while. And until I'm mild, I hope we come back next month, but, but I guess we'll find out in a few weeks. So, I shall see you next week. Goodbye.